Honestly, what I just heard in my head was it was all worth it. All of the pain, all of the trouble. This is one of those moments where, you know, you always hear one day you're going to wake up and you're going to look back and you're going to see how everything worked out perfectly. Everything worked out in your favor. You're going to see how things needed to work out the way that they did and be happy. And this is one of those moments. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Yes, even though this is a timeless reading, it's also a general reading, but even though it's a timeless reading, this is normally on Fridays I come through and we cover the weekend. Yeah, I like to do morning coffee. Monday through morning coffee. Oh my God, my accent came out there. Whoa. Um, I like to do morning coffee from like Monday to Friday and then the weekend is for festivities. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, welcome to your weekend edition of morning coffee. Thank you guys so much for very, so very much for tuning in. Again, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, roles could be reversed, just take this as it resonates, and this is a timeless reading, so this could resonate for you at any moment. This is not a dated reading, yes? So, happy Friday, yeah. Um, I hope everyone has had a good week. Ah, okay, so, merch update. I know many of you have been having trouble and have not been able to access the shop. And that is because the link to the shop, the, the URL that uh, shop, uh, Shopify provided to me is not recognized as a safe one uh, to, uh, by YouTube. And so I posted, it, I posted this on my, the community tab of my channel, but I'm not sure everybody saw it. So I'm just gonna mention it. So I have to purchase an extra like a, a a separate url from them that will potentially be safer so that you can access the site um if you were to take the the url and just type it in instead of trying to use the link in the video i'll put the link in the description box again today i mean i'm pretty sure it's not going to work but if you just take that like co say copy paste it and open like a web browser and put it in that way, it will work. But when you use it, when you're going through YouTube and stuff, it, it, it gives like an alert that, you know, it might be a scam, blah, blah, blah. People might be trying to scam money from you. Don't, um, what does it say? Don't, um, you know, don't give any personal information or anything like that, but it's not anything bad. It's literally just my Shopify account <laughs> or, or its store. So. I'll put the link in the description box again for this video. Again, if you click on the link to go directly to the site from YouTube, it's not gonna work. So if you wanna get to it now, either copy paste, copy and paste the URL into a, uh, like a separate web browser, or, you know, just type it in yourself. It should work that way, yeah. But until I get, I have to get a, a different domain, and that way it'll work, yeah? So stay tuned for that. <sighs> okay, so let's just get into the reading for today. Um, I'm using the True Intuitive Heart Tarot again. Where did that box go? Oh, I'll just use this. We're using the True Intuitive Tarot Ho. True Intuitive Ho? No. <laughs> true Intuitive Heart. I'm sorry, True Heart Intuitive Tarot. I'm so sorry, I'm all over the place this morning. And then we'll be using the Los Carabello deck for clarification. Yes? And then, of course, as usual, we will cross the bridge of Oracle Guidance when we get there. Yeah? Alrighty, y'all. Let's get into this and see what we've got for today. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the energies in terms of the places, situations, situationships, and circumstances in which we need it the most.
Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids, let's get into this here. I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Morning coffee. So what is our discussion for today? Our discussion for the weekend. I encourage you guys, that was two, this is three. I encourage you guys to like, you know, save, maybe save this for... Saturday or Sunday morning, you know, I used to love Saturday morning cartoons and I tend to find that I um, <clears throat> I need lately I've been feeling like I want something to replace that, you know, like waking up in the morning and watching cartoons on a Saturday morning Right, so like you could save this for like Saturday or Sunday morning. I don't know I don't know why I felt inspired or compelled to mention that but Yeah, this is three <laughs> Please excuse me guys. I feel I feel a bit scattered this morning this is four, but we'll get through it, right? Ain't no bang. This is, <laughs> this is five. And I do have the doors closed again today because it is yet another windy day and I'm just not trying to let all the bugs in. So there you go. All right, here we go. What's going on today, this weekend, or just for this session? What do we want to talk about? I'm going to stop here for, the, for now. Okay. We do have temperance at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a sense of happiness and contentment that you found. There's a sense of peace and harmony with yourself, with your surroundings here. Uh, you have the... <laughs> you have the Nine of Cups. You have the Page of Cups. And then you have the Three of Cups. So this to me feels like um, you may be in a really open space right now. Um, your heart is open. You're willing to be social. You're wanting to be social, of course, with, with you know, within whatever, um, however you feel the most comfortable and safe at the moment. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but it just, it, this feels like a very happy energy. I'm not really getting anything specific other than the fact that there's a sense of peace, balance, and harmony you may have found or you may have come to recently, and that's allowing you to be open. That's allowing you to want to be more social. That's allowing you to want to go out and see the world and try new things and experience things, which is really nice, which is really, really nice. I always feel weird when readings like this come through because it's like okay well i mean what do you really want me to tell them that <laughs> all right so let's continue but but the the biggest part of this okay okay so excuse me the the biggest part that i'm getting from this right now you do have temperance at the bottom of the deck right so temperance here, sorry, sunlight, temperance, the temperance here is speaking to a sense of balance and harmony, and I just heard union with yourself, but there's also a sense of patience, okay? Underneath temperance is the king of cups, all right? So the king of cups is very emotionally mature, emotionally balanced, emotionally grounded, um, and can weather any storm, uh, very emotionally solid. It just feels like there's a sense of having settled into, or you are settling into, a space where you're just okay with what's happening around you, or you've reached a sense of emotional stability and emotional maturity that's allowing you to just be okay, Nine of Cups, allowing you to just focus on being happy um, and content with yourself. The Page of Cups here is representing a place uh, a sense of being open-hearted, um, maybe being even being in a sense of wonder, being connected with your inner child, interested in having fun, interesting in exploring and trying new things. And then the Three of Cups here obviously is a social card, a card of celebration, a card of um, social gatherings and friendship. Maybe even having sense, excuse me, having found a sense of soul family. That's nice. All right, let's see. Let's continue here. What else can we get for the collective in terms of this energy? Okay. Well, all right, so then that then then we turn around and now we have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, however, I feel like the Five of Cups here is representing past energies. Yeah, and underneath the Five of Cups 
is the Eight of Pentacles. So there's a lot of work that has been done in terms of things that you may have felt like you have lost, things that may have not worked out the way you wanted them to, but there's a sense of recognizing and understanding that they're, that like not every, um, that um, all is not lost. And I feel like you're finally able or you're in a place right now where you can look at whatever has happened or whatever has been going on around you lately and say, okay, there's a reason why this is happening. Instead of me staying here in this Five of Cups energy, um, very woe is me. I did just hear that, so I'm just going to say it. But like, instead of being all woe is me about it, um, I'm going to try and look at the bright side. I'm going to try and look at what it is I can handle, what it is I can be appreciative of right now what it is I can experience and appreciate at the moment, okay? You do have the Page of Pentacles now with the Knight of Wands, and then with that, oh shoot. Look at this. So now we had the King of Cups come out before, that was at the bottom of the deck underneath Temperance, and now you have the Queen of Cups here. Because so you have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups was is a past energy, I feel like. Um, what was, Okay, so what this is saying here is the reason why you've been able to gain a sense of emotional stability, emotional grounding, emotional balance, and emotional maturity, which the emotional maturity and, and stability was re represented by the King of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is here saying that you have really faced your emotions. I heard, I just heard you stopped procrastinating with this Four of Cups energy, and you faced what it is that you were feeling. You faced whatever, what was going on. You dealt with the pain, you dealt with the heartbreak, you de dealt with the feelings of loss, and you did a lot of great work, right? And so now, there's action moving forward. You have the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Knight of Wands. The Page of Pentacles is feeling like this new sense of foundation in terms of everything that has may have gone on that has left you feeling five of cupsy right and so <clears throat> there's there's a new okay so there's a, like a new sense of reality here that's what i'm feeling with this page of pentacles energy there's a new sense of reality there's a sense of having started over in a sense but if you're starting over you're starting over from a place of having dealt with the emotional baggage that's what i just heard sorry let's pause for a second Okay, so having dealt with the emotional baggage, so the Page of Pentacles to me often represents um, starting a new level, entering into a new level, starting a new reality. And sure, you may feel like you, you know, I say this all the time, you may feel like you need your training wheels again, you may feel like you need to get your footing, but ultimately you're starting a new level with the wisdom that you've gained and experienced from the previous level. So it's not like it's really gonna take you all that long to really figure out how to navigate this next level. And that King of Cups energy is really coming forward in, in speaking to how emotionally mature and how well you've become in terms of, how well you've gotten, I'm sorry, in terms of, um, dealing with or handling your emotions given that you know anything can happen and you know it, it could all just you know but there's a sense of emotional maturity and balance here in starting this new reality and what it also feels like is there's great drive to move forward there's almost a sense of excitement it's as if now that you've gotten this <clears throat> Now that you've gotten this um, emotional balance and emotional maturity under your belt, it's almost as if there's excitement to move forward and continue experiencing now that you're, you, you have a sense of not, your emotions not really getting the best of you any longer. That doesn't mean that you're not going to have your low points, but see, that's the point about it. Even in those low points, you can still be very clear. You can still be very mentally clear. You can still navigate things very well. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be as much. <laughs> what I just heard in my head was it doesn't have to be as much of a shit show <laughs> as it may have been in the past. Excuse me. That's really beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. I'm going to get one more pull here. Last pull before we get some more guidance or um, some clarity. So just to round out this part of the story here, please, Spirit. Anything else that we can say about this energy? We're circling back to where we started. <clears throat> okay, we still have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which I find funny. But 
and the Eight of Pentacles is still underneath that. But there's one final card that has come out here that is basically wrapping things up for us or circling, circling back, and that's Temperance. And like I was saying in the beginning of the reading, there is this feeling of having found a sense of strong internal balance. Alchemy. There's also a strong sense of patience here. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's a strong, there's a deep and strong sense of patience, of of understanding, of having come to, oh, excuse me, of having come to terms with some elements of your reality that you don't necessarily have control over, but not being bothered by it any longer. There's also a deep sense of trust in the universe with this energy. This is. So your ability to like alchemize or allow yourself to fit into whatever situation you find yourself in right now is due to, okay, what I just heard was, is due to the magic of the universe, but you seem to be okay with that at this point. There's a deep intrinsic understanding that things are going to work out as is necessary. So you don't have to fight so hard. You don't have to try so hard. There's a... There's just a very strong sense of inner peace. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, let's get some clarity. Clarity. I'm not even really sure what I want to clarify, though. Five shuffles. One. Okay. Okay. So when, um, I'm just being told, let's talk about the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. Okay. So let's talk about the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yes? Let's get a little bit deeper information <clears throat> on that. What can you tell us about this process of coming into emotional understanding of no longer of no longer covering up or pouring out or wasting time not oh, no longer avoiding whatever it is has been hurting you, whatever it is you've needed to understand. Because the Queen of Cups represents emotional clarity, emotional boundaries, and understanding your emotions, focusing on them, feeling through them, allowing yourself to live them. Yeah, is what I just heard. So what is this Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, please, Spirit? Four of Cups, Queen of Cups. Interesting. You have the five of wands with the ten of cups. So it seemed, and then and then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the three of wands to the sun, to the star, to the nine of cups. So what this is kind of meaning, what this is saying here is that there may have been a sense of internal conflict when it comes to what it is you think or what you feel true happiness, true emotional happiness, and true emotional fulfillment is. But what happens now, or what has happened, excuse me, is instead of allowing yourself to be, wow, okay, okay, now I'm really getting this. So a lot, instead of allowing yourself to, to, to continue to cycle through energies of, um, um, in, internal conflict, Allowing, potentially allowing other people or even letting society set the standard for what it is you, what it is you feel is your Ten of Cups or what it is you should, you feel should be, repre should represent your emotional fulfillment, your ultimate emotional fulfillment. Instead of allowing yourself to cycle in energies of inner conflict in terms of that, it feels like you have gotten down to the bottom of what it is this truly means for you. Yes. And that's allowing you to well not that it's allowing you to move forward or continue on your path but you're you are continuing on your path with what is the right expression 
of emotional fulfillment, emotional contentment, e emotional reality, whatever, Ten of Cups, you are moving forward with this clarity on your path. And even though you may not necessarily know exactly where you're going, ultimately you are much clearer on it than you were before. The sun can also represent more of your inner essence, more of your inner light shining through. So yeah, you may not necessarily know exactly where you're going, exactly how you're going to get there, exactly how things are going to work out. But ultimately, in you clearing up this discrepancy within yourself, that's allowing you to get there. Faster, more efficient, we could, more efficiently, excuse me, we could say, and just happy, nine of cups, okay, content, happy to be in your own body, happy to be in your own skin, that type of energy, beautiful. The last thing I really want to look at or want to clarify is temperance, since temperance was the first card out and... Well, no, actually, it wasn't the first card out, but it was at the bottom of the deck before, at the very beginning. And now it's come out as like a, to wrap it up or to, to yeah, I want to I wanna get a little bit deeper into that. So, Spirit, what can you tell us ultimately? What can you tell us about this temperance energy here? Wow. Yeah. So you really have, you, it's, it's as if you are much more in tune with yourself on a higher level. Maybe even we could say on a higher frequency than you may have before. The Hermit. This is really, this really feels like you are much clearer on who you are, what it is you represent, what it is you stand for, much clearer on parts of yourself, parts of your soul, parts of your essence that you may not have been clear about before. And that's all because of the efforts that you've made here, Eight of Pentacles, and the, the consistent work that you've done to bring balance, to bring physical balance into your life, Two of Pentacles, okay? Finally, one card here. The Ace of Pentacles has fallen out, and the Ace of Pentacles fell out on the Ten of Cups. It fell out face down. Um... And I can't help but look at this energy, this Ace of Pentacles energy, and number one, think, okay, this is a hidden energy for you guys or for the collective here, right? But number two, this feels like a brand new offer. Um, it, it might even be a love offer that I feel coming through. It did fall on the Ten of Cups. It just feels like now that you are more clear, you have a better understanding. And I'm not saying that you know everything. Like you, It's not like, you know, you've gotten the you've got the 100% real clear answer. That's not what I'm saying here. But what I am saying is there is much more clarity that has that was necessary, I'm hearing. It was necessary for you to reach this level of clarity, but that's so that you could continue on your path in a better, more efficient way. So now that you've cleared up this discrepancy or this inner conflict in terms of what it is that's truly making you happy, there is an offer coming through, an offer of a new reality. But there you go. You have that page of pentacles with it as well. There's the, That's a new, a, a level up to a new reality as well. It's just that now the universe has the space to hand you more of what it is you truly desire now that this inner conflict seems to have been cleared up on a, on, on a certain level. Yeah. You've liberated, you literally liberated yourself from a sense of mental prison and mental entrapment, and you're standing in your power, you're standing in your authority as an individual, as a soul, as a spirit, having a physical existence, and you are now in much greater alignment with what it is you truly want to come through in your life. Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Okay? Beautiful, guys. It was, uh, and honestly, what I just heard in my head was it was all worth it. All of the pain, all of the trouble, all of the turmoil. This is one of those moments where, you know, you always hear one day you're going to wake up and you're going to look back and you're going to see how everything worked out perfectly. Everything worked out in your favor. You're going to see how things, why things needed to work out the way that they did and be happy 
And this is one of those moments. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. <laughs> Let's get closing oracle guidance here. I'm being guided to go with the light worker oracle today. Dooby dooby doo doo. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Alrighty, y'all. Closing Oracle Guidance for today, or for today's session, or for this reading here. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Card number 18, Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge. Beautiful. You have been growing spiritually, and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material, material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura, chakras, and physical body. As you physically expand, you may need more rest, healing and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you. I want to read more of this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and read the whole thing for us today. Okay, okay. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. The Rainbow Bridge is a term for the channel of light that moves through your chakra system and along your spine, allowing spirit to enter your body and stimulate the development of your soul. This bridge comes to life as your consciousness is raised. It draws a higher, sorry, it draws in higher energies that nourish and awaken your body, mind, and soul through your chakra system. As your chakras become stimulated by the increasing influx of spiritual light, a clearing process begins which supports the consequent yes which supports the consequent expansion of your consciousness this clearing is like a spiritual detoxification it clears blocks from your mind emotional body and physical body as well as from your soul such as unresolved past life issues as these blocks are broken down and, and processed Emotional trauma stored in your organs and nervous system can be released and your energy field becomes more spacious. This creates room for an increase of spiritual light. As a result, you feel clearer about what you are and why you are here and others see more clearly when they are in your aura field or when they are in your field. You become more powerful. Your energy field continues to clear itself, attracting more spiritual light, becoming more visible beyond physical limits. Others can be supported by your light, even if they cannot see your physical body. You are growing as a light worker and helping humanity in increasing ways whilst enjoying your own spiritual growth. You are opening to new consciousness now. With this comes new insight, awareness, and an awakening or deepening of your soul talents such as healing, clairvoyance, channeling, or telepathy. Your channels are being cleared and activated. Rest, open up, and allow. Be patient and trust in your process. If emotional content arises and you are connected, I'm sorry, are concerned you might be falling back into old habits, don't be afraid. Find ways to express what you are feeling through writing, therapy, dance, music, and art, sound, and conscious movement. Explore your personal expression to allow for spiritual expansion. This oracle brings an additional message from spirit. Hold on. Ascension can be a wild ride. Anything is possible. 
The past is not an indicator. The future is not set. This is a moment to cultivate your deepest flow through you in whatever way it chooses. During ascension, your life can change quite dramatically. The rainbow bridge empowers us to rise from one reality into another. Even if your outer world doesn't change radically, internally you will feel as though you are living a different life. Eventually, the physical world changes will follow. Enjoy crossing the rainbow bridge into new consciousness, dear one. You have everything you need. You are ready for this. It is meant to be. Well, shit, y'all. <laughs> so there you have it. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>